Hi, welcome to Woodstuff Workshop. I'm David. Today we're going to try and make some hobbit drawers out of some logs. So let's get on with it. Right, on here, on the bandsaw, I've just got an old bit of wood here and I've just nailed some pieces across there just to hold the log so the log doesn't spin when we're cutting through on the blade. While I was cutting these, one of them did grab and tried to, uh, well it did, it jammed up the bandsaw. That's the reason why you have these pieces sort of supporting. But what happened was I got on a narrow piece of the log and there weren't enough there holding it because it was resting on the bottom here. So you just have to be wary about that, the, the bandsaw does try and wrap the side and pull it down. Especially with this blade, this is a really coarse blade. I've got three done and I'm cutting off half an inch there that I'm going to have for the back of the bandsaw box. I've got the back piece that I cut, that's going to be the back glued back on again. So all I'm doing here is just roughly drawing a piece that's going to be the draw. So giving them a bit of a flat bottom, but I'm not trying to get these uh, symmetrical or anything, it's just a rough, the rough shape. So I'll be going through the side there and then going along with the bandsaw around there and the same on each of them so we've got them drawn out roughly but what we will need to do is change the bandsaw blade for a thinner blade so let's get that done again changing to a blade that's a different uh, width and everything because then you have to change all the guides and everything obviously if you're just changing one that's broke you haven't got to change all the guides and things but as I've gone down to a narrower blade I've had to change all the guides right Ready to roll. So switch it off and then try and thread this out. This is the first time I've had a go at any any bandsaw box making. You might be able to tell that. 
yeah we'll cut round there to get that piece out that I'll have glue placed inside and the joint glued together clamped together and then we need to make this into a drawer right let's get the others done This bit that's the drawer that's going to go in there we want that now we need to chop a bit off the front and back of it I'm just going to mark the bottom of this and I'll just put a little F and F on there because we're going to chop across there I'll just stick a B and a B there as well just to be sure I'm just going to cut about a 10 millimeter slice off the back and the front just before I cut these just a note on these the reason why I give their drawer a bit of a flat is not only for the drawer it's for on here on the bandsaw as well because when you slide it into the bandsaw blade if it's very round like that, it'll try and grab it and try and drag it into the bandsaw and jam it. So that gives it a bit of support. Right, so the middle piece of the drawer, we need to take a piece out like this. So just gonna take it out. like that sort of thing it's only approximate again Next is to glue these together. So we've got the drawers to glue. So all I've got to do is make sure the F's with the F. And there's the back of the drawer. So I've just got to get some glue on these, clamp them up and just leave them to dry. And then we've got to glue this joint and clamp that together on there. And we need to put some glue around and glue the back on as well. So obviously I have to just keep turning that until I get it in the right position. Right, while these are gluing up, we'll go and have a look, see if we can find some little sticks or twiggy bits for the handles. Down at the bottom of the garden, this is the ash tree where the wood for them boxes come from. So I'll look down on the floor, see if we can find some twigs to suit the handles. Also down at the bottom here we've got apples growing. Trouble it with these apples, they're cooking apples. So uh, not much use unless you're making uh, some apple sauce or apple pie. Loads of sticks coming off the trees down here, so I'm never short of a stick. So I think this will do. This is from the ash tree. Is that tasty?
Why is it I always plug the wrong plug in for my sander? So these are glued up. We'll just give uh, these a bit of a sanding just to get rid of the pencil lines and such like. Don't want to go too mad with them because they're only supposed to look like logs. So give these a bit of a sanding and then we'll be ready just to stick the knobs on the front. There we go, just a quick simple job, I'm going to call them Hobbit Drawers and you can just fit something small in there and just a simple quick job made with a bandsaw and you can always put in your precious. So there we go, just a quick make, an easy project, it's my first time making a bandsaw box so it's ideal as a starter project hope you liked it if you did if you could give us a thumbs up that'd be brilliant and if you haven't already subscribed if you could click the subscribe that'd be great so take care and i'll see you next time